I'm Brad Henry at Landau Controls and Shelly Automation, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with an O3D sensor from IFM. So I've started up IFM Vision Assistant, and I've got this startup screen here. If you haven't wired it, you can go to Wiring, and you can find what you need to wire up the sensor. Assuming you've done so, go to Find Sensor, and it will search for it on your Ethernet uh, network. So it found it, and it's on the same network. Sometimes it's not on the same network, and it will ask you to uh, temporarily change the IP address to be on your network. In this case, I'm going to go to Connect, and it's connecting. So if you do that and you don't have anything on your, on your sensor, it will bring you to a menu here, you can pick uh, which uh, scheme you want to use. And there's a lot of uh, wizards to choose from, so I'll just take a look at one real quick. Let's go with the mentioning. They're all pretty easy to use. You open it up and it gives you these steps. You just run through the steps. Pretty simple, so not going to run through that. It's also in the instruction manual. Now, if there is an application on the sensor, it will bring you to here. And if that's the case, you just go to Add New Application, brings this menu again. And let's go with User Defined Mode, because that's uh, a little more difficult. So here we go. It's, uh, it's booted up. Now, it brings you this screen, and you've got five sections. So start from the top and work your way down. So under image settings, it brings up the image. And this is in amplitude mode right now. So this is like uh, what, what you'd see if you took a picture with a, with a cell phone camera. This is a standard 2D image. You can switch to a 3D distance image here, and it gives you this heat map. You can see it's got your Z values here. So this is close, and the blue is farther away. So you can uh, you can see that uh, see that there. So for this demo application, I've got a roll of paper towel, and I'll be showing you how to how to work with that as an example. Okay, so first thing to do is to go through this, select your trigger, your target frame rate. That's pretty explanatory. Exposure modes. So if you're imaging something very shiny you'll have a low exposure because it reflects a lot of light back. But if you've got something beside it and it's dark, it won't reflect as much light. So you use multiple exposures to capture both extremes. And you can go up to three exposures. Uh, two, is, two is standard, so I'll just stick with two. And you keep going down, get this optimize button, and that will ensure you get a good picture. So let's click that and it automatically sets everything up. So once you're satisfied with your image quality, go to the model section, and we can define our inspections. So let's add, let's do a, a, a distance. So you've got your region of interest here. Let's just size that up to the uh, paper towel. Uh, to detect whether it's there or whether it's not. So let's just adjust the, uh, the distance here, the set point. Now, once you're satisfied with this, you can work on the output. So that's where the logic and interfaces are. So let's go with logic. And it asks for an example, so let's go through that. Generate. Generated it. So you can see that you just wire it to a different blocks. Your blocks are down here. And you can find more about certain blocks in the documentation. So I won't go through that. Now one thing I will do is instead of getting a digital output, I want analog output, so 
You just find that output analog out. I want to take the process value and set it. So there we go. So this will give me an analog output on the analog pin. So I think I'm good for now. So let's go to interfaces. So if you're connecting through TCP IP, this is the uh, text string that's that's uh, kicked out. And you can add you can add things, take away things whatever you need to do to connect with the machine. So once you're satisfied with all this, you go to test. So it's activating the test mode and it's there, so it's passed. Let's uh, take it away, see what happens. Oh, it failed. The distance is too far, so I say this works. So when you're satisfied, go to save.